Guess you have read the thumbnail of this video and yes we are going to discuss about the same topic which is the reality of piping design courses. Because most of the candidates who are approaching me has one common question with all of them and the common question is what is the piping design course should I take being a fresher. So I wanted to make a video that will clearly tell them that what they have to do. Not only what they have to do, also let them understand what is the reality. Because if you understand the reality, then you can make your own decision. But if you don't understand, you will keep on roaming around for the information that is not reached to you. So make use of this video to understand what is the reality and what you have to do with. So before getting into the video, one thing I want you to have a clear understanding is the purpose of your course. Why are you taking the course? You need to have a very clear understanding about why are you taking the course. So the very intent of taking the course is to get a job, isn't it? We are buying some course, we are taking some course, just not just to spend money or not just uh, we are having an interest towards the course. We are taking this course just because that this course will help you to get a job. If this course is not going to help you to get a job, you will never take it. Am I right or wrong? You clearly need to understand and have a strong understanding about it. Uh, if you are taking a course which is not going to help you to get a job, definitely you should not be taking it. For that, you really have to understand the ground reality. Say for an example, you have considered a particular course to buy, thinking that it will lead to a job it will help you to get a job but how it will help you to get a job the second most important thing that you have to know because most of the candidates don't understand the relation between their job expectation and the course that they are going to take it if you do not know what the job is actually demanding then whatever course that you take is going to be waste you have to know what the job is demanding only then you will be able to understand whether your course is supplying this or not. Let me tell you in a very simple example. Let's say that you are planning to buy a house. Will you be a person directly handing over the net cash to a contractor without knowing the house design? Without knowing whether the, the house is designed as per your requirements? Without knowing your interest? Nothing, right? You never ever hand over the cash to the contractor without even seeing the plan of the house. If somebody is doing it, that is a mistake. You have to know your design. You have to know your house requirement. Only then you can commit for paying them. If you do not know anything, you should not pay them. But the same thing is not happening when it comes to a course. Most people are taking the course just by the the kind of a reputation that the institute is having and the kind of uh, the the reference that they used to get from their friends or just because their friends did that they are going to do it this will not work friends and my dear candidates please be awake you really have to do a little bit of ground reality check before taking any course this is going to be a more of a common sense that you have to understand the job requirements and do a course which can give that knowledge so that you can use that knowledge to get into a job. If you do a course which is not going to give a knowledge of the job, then it is no use of it. Please have a clear understanding about this first in your mind. And the next thing you have to understand is, being a fresher, you are going to get into a job market. So what is going to be your role in the job? Being a fresher, nobody would expect you to work as a senior engineer. Am I right or wrong? So you have to know the basic things, the, the things that can help you be a part of a team and be a part of a, uh, the group so that you can support them for the initial understanding. And with the support of the, uh, the colleagues and the, your senior engineers or senior people, you can deliver them. For that, you need to have some basic understanding, not that you need to know everything about it. So if you do not have an understanding about these three things, what is the purpose of the course? What is the actual reality of the job market? And what is the uh, your role being as a fresher? Then you will not be able to understand the entire chemistry. Fine. So please have a strong understanding about it. 
and drive accordingly. So this is the first part of this video. Now I'm going to the second part of the video where I'm going to talk about the courses. First of all, as a fresher, you are completely a new fresher who do not know about this entire industry, how it works and everything, right? So as a first step, you need to conceptually understand why you wanted to become a piping design engineer and what piping design engineer is going to do in the actual job. So this is the first and foremost thing. If you don't understand it, try to understand from the source of information available. There are now there are plenty of information available in YouTube and everything. So to give you as some tip, let me just tell you. Piping design engineer is an engineer who works in oil and gas and petrochemicals and any piping related projects in order to build the piping design uh, for the piping infrastructure based on uh, the client requirements and the engineering standards and the design guidelines and everything. And with the use of all this information, piping design engineer produces the constructional drawings such as isometrics, layouts and uh, plot plan and material list and everything so that it will go to the construction team for the construction. So the role of piping design engineer is to prepare the design in a drawing so that that can be used for a construction. This is the conceptual understanding, but you need to know the entire thing that what is the actual role of the piping design engineer actually. So once you understand this, then the next thing is that you should know as a fresher when you're getting into any particular job, what is your activity is going to be. So I have already told in a lot of my videos like the primary skills that the fresher and the beginner in piping to learn is the software. So the very primary thing that you really have to know is the software, but, but software only will not help you. Okay. Remember learning software is a tool like uh, the scales and pencils and erasers that we had used in uh, the past now has been sophisticated and now has been brought into a digital stage so that now you can put everything without these tools uh, by using the digital platform that is known as a software. So in piping as a beginner, you have to learn the piping design softwares. There are multiple softwares. You can refer multiple of my previous videos where I have clearly discussed about it. And the third important thing is that take a general course. The general course which I'm trying to highlight is that the course that covers every single topic of the piping design engineer. Maybe you can say that the maximum number of topics uh, where you understand about this particular engineering in a, in a theoretical view, in a better theoretical understanding. So that is far more important. You need to know what is layout, you need to know what is plot plan, you need to know what is static equipment, rotatory equipment, and uh, you need to know what is known as routing, what is pipe supports, what is uh, stress analysis, like a conceptual theory of each and every area of the piping design. Remember, this is not a detailed study of particular topic. This is a conceptual general understanding about every topic of the piping design engineering. This is known as a general piping design theory courses. There are lots of institutes available in our uh, country for this general piping theory courses. One of the best platform is that Udemy. You can go and refer Udemy to find the piping design theory courses. Uh, which are available uh, at a cheaper rate and if you really are interested to go for the one-on-one -on -one training then you can go and check in any institutes this is going to be a general courses which will talk about all the topics which is going to give you the brief about each of this topic so that when you come across these terms and definitions you will come to know what you have what you have when you come across these definitions, you will come to know what you have read about it. Okay, so that is the, the, the second most important thing for the courses. Actually, the first is software. Second is the general courses. So now you have done the software. You have done the theoretical courses. Fine. With this, you can try for a piping designer job. It is an entry level job. In order to become a piping design engineer, either you can try as a designer or you can try as a design engineer but in order to try as a designer or a design engineer you need to know little more thing for example a designer role is to build the piping design using the software for that he needs to know about the international standards what are fittings what are pipes what are valves 
that what different types of valves are used actually so the basic things that he needs to know not in detail basically because if you do not know all of these things then you will not be able to work in a real job so that is what a very important thing after learning the software and after taking the general courses you really have to put a lot of time in doing the self-study if you do a self-study you will be able to understand all of these details like international standards and fittings and pipes and valves and supports and routing all these things and the next thing you have to know is the design engineering procedure in piping design what is the piping design procedure as a fresher what are the inputs are required and what are the outputs you have to deliver all these things that you will cover generally these things which i have said such as an international standard supports and fittings all these details are not fully taught in any institutes you have to do the self-study if you do a self-study you will get a lot of doubts and then you can take that doubts to clarify with institutes so they will clarify you that will give you a clear idea so go concentrate on software take the general courses and do a self-study make sure you do a self-study along with the general courses so you can clarify your doubts in the self-study in the institutes itself so that is the very most important so once you clear any interview, you will get an opportunity in a company to work and there by experience, you will come to know many things. But I still understand even after working two to three years, you may not be able to learn many things. That is where you have to focus on the skill based training. The skill based training like my skill based training, which is in Pemidaka, you can check my course websites where I have some courses which are purely a skill based training for those who really wanted to perform well in the interview perform well in the actual job one of the biggest problem with being a beginner is a lot of fear and a lot of doubts and there is no clarification even i had gone through the same stage that is why i can relate that the kind of a fear the kind of a fear in the sense it's not a really a fear that can scare you it's a completely uh, a, a clarity less uh, the the knowledge what you're doing which direction that you're uh, going and uh, whether if you do this it will work so all those doubts you will get it that is basically because that we are not taught properly about the systematic education that is what I, we are lacking i seriously wonder why it was not taught even after completing engineering even i was not confident i was not knowing what i was doing only by progressing little by little little by little by making uh, a little bit improvement in career only i was able to understand it so i can understand that how a fresher can truly feel that is why i'm making this video to give them the clarity the clarity is that understand the job requirement and then do the course not the vice versa do not copy your friends do not copy your neighbors do not copy any recommendations in the internet if you want to become something for example, if you want to become a piping design engineer, you understand about what piping design engineer does, what is the job requirements, what are the skills he needs actually. Accordingly, you list down those skills and try for the courses where it will teach those skills. So that is very important and progressively you follow it. First, you learn the software, then you take the general courses, then you focus on the self-study and then you focus on the skill based study. Then you focus on the interviews, then you focus on your, um, your, your body language and communications and you work on your CV. All these things are related actually. Only then you will be able to get into a job because getting into a job is the foremost thing we need. Do not take any course that is not supporting you to get into a job but it should not be a question that before taking a course you should not go and ask the the particular person that will you give me a job that is not the intent here the intent is that what kind of knowledge that the course is going to give you whether the knowledge is actually matching their job requirement whether you are unable to use the knowledge to get into a job that is a totally your personal uh, issues but if whatever you are learning is not related to whatever has been expected, then there is no use of taking the course. So most of the people are in confusion that I have taken a course, but I am not able to perform the interview well. That is truly a personal issue because you have taken a course and you have not observed properly, not understood properly. That is because you are not prepared for it. Actually, you have copied, you have uh, referenced, you are influenced 
so that you are not in a position to understand what is the job reality but if a person understand the job re reality and see whether these are the five requirements that i have to prepare for then if he search the course according to these five requirements then he will be able to relate these requirements so whatever course that he learns he will make sure that he is learning in order to get a knowledge of this job requirement so with that knowledge if he goes for an interview he will be able to clear the interview so i believe that this video has helped you to understand what is the piping course reality that you have to take it what you have to do what are the preparations that you have to really focus on what are the information that you have to seek so all these things have been clarified in this video i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra